Hello, in this video we are going to check to see how your kickstart works, okay? And in this video I will show you how, 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 how. Okay, your kickstart is located on your left side of your scooter. You like sometimes put some W40 or some lubrificant right here on this part right here. But sometimes it gets a little rusty and it doesn't want to come out. So you need to use this kickstart, okay? Now this kickstart is not really the best thing ever, okay? I just use as an emergency together with the electrical start if the scooter doesn't want to start. But buying itself is not really the best kickstart ever, okay? Now, to remove this kickstart, you're going to need an 8 millimeter or 10 millimeter, okay? And when you remove the old screw out, you can remove the part of the kickstart, okay? The arm. After that, you can remove the old cover, okay? So the old CVT cover. So you can see how the kickstart work, okay? Okay, the first thing you're gonna do, you're going to remove the kickstart, because if not, you cannot remove the CVT cover, okay? To remove the kickstart right here, you're going to need an 8 millimeter or 10 millimeter on size scooter socket. Right here, okay? Make sure to remove these bolts all the way out, okay? This, this is the bolt of the kickstart right here. Make sure you put it in the place where you're going to remember. And then we, okay, right after you remove the bolt and the kickstart, you can get the kickstart arm out. Just lightly wiggle the kickstart arm out, okay? Right after you wiggle it out, you put it out, you can put the bolt right back in the kickstart arm so it's, you're not going to lose it but make sure to remove the bolt when you remove the arm of the kickstart if not this one will not come out okay the arm will not come out okay after you remove the arm you could remove about eight screws eight bolts they are around the CVT cover okay those are eight millimeter these scooters, they're made with 8 millimeter and 10 millimeter. That's how the GY6 scooter are made. So try to lose all the screws and then later you place them in a place where you're going to remember where they're going to go later. Because a lot of the screws are longer and few are shorter, okay? So you don't want to break the CVT cover. Okay, right after you remove all the bolts from this cover, you can start to wiggle this cover out, okay?
gently because if you're too rough you can remove the kickstart so be careful do not remove the kickstart when you're removing the cover if not you're going to have a problem okay right here we have the rear clutch and then we have the front variator okay and the belt right in the center right here we have the kickstart assembly okay after you remove the CT cover right here you can see the kickstart assembly right here okay now it has a spring right here is that it's got, it has a lock over here to make sure the spring is not going to go anywhere has a gear right here and a gear on the bottom okay now when this one moves uh, this one right here bring this one forward okay let me see if I can show you the game okay see this one moves this one goes forward and will engage uh, with this part right here right here okay when it will engage with this one we'll turn this one and we'll make the scooter engine move okay that's how it's gonna go now how many parts is the assembly right here Right here you can remove the eight millimeter nut and turn it left okay you can remove the eight millimeter right here and this part will come out okay this one is the part of the kickstart that keeps the spring in its position okay after you mo remove the block right here that is gonna make sure the spring doesn't go anywhere you can remove the spring with pliers or something like that okay just pull it out and go around with it okay This is the spring that is at the kickstart, okay? One side has a hook and the other side is a longer arm, okay? That's how it's built. Now, right here, you can get this part out. Usually there's a washer right here. You can get this part out, okay? That's how the kickstart his, okay? That's how you should put it in and out, okay? This one is as, as a mark, okay? Right here, that usually goes up, okay? There is a up word, okay? Right here. This mark here has to go up, right here. Anyway, this one is one of the gears. The other gear right here goes in and out, okay? This is the other gear of the kickstart, right here. Has a little pin in the back, okay? This pin has to go inside a little indentation right here there is a little place where this pin is going to go through okay yeah. right here there is a little hole on the top where this pin right here at the gear is going to go okay this pin right here 
is going to go to this indentation right here, okay? Now, the uh, kickstart has some signs, some marks. Right here, there's a mark right here, okay? There is a mark right here that goes to the engine on the left side, okay? And there is a mark on the other side that this one has to look at the other gear, okay? So when you put it in, make sure that this pin in the back aligns with the connector, okay? Now this one will go in and out, okay? Make sure that this one does not move. This one cannot move. If this one move, the pin is not in the right position, okay? Okay, after you place this one, you see there is a mark, arrow right here, okay? And there's another, this one is another mark, there is like a symbol, okay? For this gear, has to look on the right side, okay? This part right here, that is another gear, has to go right here, okay? This one has to look at the top, okay? After you put this one, you can place the spring back. To put the spring back over here, right here, you just need to turn the spring and hook right here. Is the best way is to do it with the pliers, okay? Or with some kind of, you know. Make sure you hold the gear when you turn the spring, okay? So it's not going to come out. Okay, you can get a plier and put the spring back in location. Make sure you to press this one in, because if not, the spring is going to bring the gear out, okay? Okay, right after you place the spring right here, you can put this one back right here. That is gonna stop the spring to go anywhere, okay? This bolt right here is an eight millimeter. Now, right after you place the, all the gears, put the kickstand right here at the end. And you wanna make sure that it's gonna work, okay? You wanna make sure that all the gears are going to engage, okay? See, they're engaging, okay? So make sure before you close the cover, the CVT cover, make sure everything works right, okay? If not, you have to reopen everything later. So do not close the CVT cover unless you know that everything is working, okay? At this point, when you're done with the kickstart, you can close up, put everything back up. You can put the variator, you can put the clutch, and you can put a belt, okay?
Okay, everybody, thank you very much for watching my video. I hope you enjoy. Feel free to visit my YouTube channel, subscribe to my channel, and click like. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you.